India Art Summit 2011, in its third edition, brought focus from around the globe to the rapidly growing Indian art market. The art fair provided a unique opportunity for the seasoned collectors and general public to access Indian and international art all under one roof. The upcoming edition of India's modern and contemporary art fair in 2012 will showcase all the elements from the third edition and much more, making India the destination for art and culture in the Asian subcontinent. It's been a very full and rich experience. It's wonderful to see the range of work on show and it's even more gratifying to see the great appetite and interest, indeed I would use the word passion, for contemporary art, ideas and issues uh, in India today. It's, it's fabulous. It's great to be here. The Art Summit's a great success and I wish you luck. To have started this and to have something that can grow and expand is really very, very important. Um, People think that there is a center to the art world. There isn't one anymore. There are many centers and this gives a center for things here. The art fair in 2011 created a buzz unmatched by any art fair Asia has ever seen. Reaching out to more than 150 countries across the world through a global PR and marketing campaign. Visitors from India and abroad attended the fair with immense curiosity, excitement and enthusiasm. The, the level of quality of the public, of the collectors that are here, and we are going to many, many art fairs, like 10 to 12 a year, and I can really compare it with other fairs, and I, I, it was really good job that was done here. It has been a great journey and I think hats off to you. The footfall seem to have increased and I hear that you've crossed the one lakh mark so that's fantastic. With famous works from the likes of Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, Damien Hirst and Andre Matisse on display at the exhibition, connoisseurs of art from the world over were in New Delhi to see some outstanding artwork being presented by top galleries from around the globe. All this combined for unprecedented sales at the Art Summit. We've been very fortunate to have done very well. The response has been amazing and yes, we've sold um, one of the works to a very prominent collection. It was absolutely fantastic I and mean, we've been overwhelmed by the response and I think since the last edition in 2009 it's been clear that there's a big step up both in terms of the quality of the fair setup and the collective base that's been brought to the fair. In terms of sales, we initially bought eight works to the fair and uh, we've now exceeded sales beyond those eight and we're actually now um, refreshing the, the works on the wall so we couldn't be happier with the response. far exceeded what I uh, initially came thinking and as you see we show a lot of experimental works it's not easy to collect despite that we've had almost a sold out booth. Also the cultivation of new art collectors reinforces the success of India's modern and contemporary art fair establishing India as the cultural hub that it is. The third edition of the Art Fair was multidimensional in every aspect. A speaker's forum for the public to hear from internationally renowned connoisseurs of art, book launches, curated walks, individual art projects and art store with exclusive art-based merchandise accessible to all and a dedicated video lounge along with various collateral events became a seamless part of the exhibition all contributing towards a fulfilling experience for any art lover. Now. India's only modern and contemporary art fair is set to return in 2012. Bigger, better and a force to reckon with.